Alright, so one question I always get is people ask me, like, why don't, um, why don't I, I have, like, a lot of viewers and subscribers and or how did I get the, to the viewers and subscribers? And I've explained it so many times, but when it comes down to it, I saw this video by Woody. Woody was saying that people really only want you for what you can produce, and he's, he's totally right in that. Um, in, in that you have to just keep producing and you have to you have to be valuable to other people and you have to have a value um, in what you do and you have to love what you do and I see that in a lot of youtubers a lot of youtubers that are successful now it's because they've always they've always been like happy doing what they're doing and all the guys who are not happy doing what they're doing they're either struggling or they're hating you know their choice of a YouTube career and YouTube career is <laughs> is a dangerous thing I mean why would you why would you put your whole career on YouTube it's um, I don't know it's crazy to to hope that your livelihood can can live off of a trend is not a good way to live but you know it's a good learning experience later on in life and you can say you know that you had that experience and you gain a lot of um, insight into working with people which is another thing and you also get um, a lot of coverage from you, you well you get exposed to a lot of the ways of you know working with media and working with products in general because there are people on here that are working with like product placements and all kinds of like, cool stuff and I that's what I do in real life I am a designer I, I work in advertising I uh, I love doing what I do I mean I really I genuinely enjoy um, working in that atmosphere and it's really cool to get to work you know like it's a really nonchalant kind of job you get in there you get on your desk and you just do work and you just work and people don't really it's not like a nine to five job like at you know Best Buy or whatever and you're not like forced to do you're not forced to be there on point and and punch a card and all that I really like um, the way that I work and I need to somehow integrate YouTube back into the way that I'm, you know, my situation because I do like I do like posting videos and I do I do love like posting stuff on YouTube and and seeing views and and having fans and all that. But on the same note, it is it's a it's it's a huge investment in time <laughs> and uh, it it does take a lot of work. People say like, how'd you get all these viewers? You just got these because of. Um, because of something there's there's so many events that could have led me to having subscribers so um i think like i think having subscribers it really doesn't matter it's really what you know what you do on your shirt like what kind of show you create and uh, i definitely want to come up with some more shows and some more things i can create but i at this point i think like maybe if i just post commentaries every once in a while or um or if I actually do come up with some sort of fun thing, I could I could definitely post those. I'm definitely gonna post some more music because I have more music that I'm working on, and eventually those will come out. They're just uh, those take a long time to do, especially like before when I when I was just freelancing. That's when I was really big on YouTube, and I was I had so much time to do whatever I wanted. Really, I I was you know I was the person who was running my own clock. And that was almost fun. I always sometimes think like I should go back to that, and that would be, that would be pretty sweet. But I do like going to work because I like being around people and having um, people there to interface with. And as a designer, it's way you you grow like way faster, way more if you are actually working with other people who are not even if they have like skill or anything. It's just the fact that you you have so many minds to choose from, so many so many people um with different perspectives and that really does matter when you're a designer so um i i don't know let me let me know if you guys actually want some like photoshop tutorials or something like that design tutorials i can definitely make some videos about um you know about photoshop and i'm not going to show you how to use photoshop but i'll talk about it and i'll talk about my ideas about design and right here this is oh man that <laughs> that made me so mad like actually, when I um, when I was in the game, I shot him and got a hit marker. But in the theater mode, obviously there's lag. So, whatever. Hope you guys have an epic day, epic night. Peace out.